all the Star Wars films are action films. Episode two is no different. And even though it's primarily a mystery and a love story, it uh, has, you know, sizable action. People getting jacked in this movie. Well, hey, you know, it's a Star Wars movie. It is the classic big themes that make you think, but then it's really fun and action-filled and got the fights that are, you know, these modern sword fights. It's a magical world. Long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, and it, it continues. I look at these as the swashbuckling adventures of, you know, the modern era. So these are the new adventures that expand your imagination. Do you have any idea who's behind this attack? We will find out who's trying to kill you, Padme. They're trying to solve a puzzle. There's somebody's trying to kill Padme, and they're trying to figure out who and why. While she's asleep, a droid's come to the window to kill her. <gasps> so we both sense that at the same moment and save the day. Obi-Wan goes after them, and I race downstairs to grab a speeder and go after them. And they go through everything. They're through buildings, they're upside down, they're shooting it. It's going to be a fantastic chase. It's so dense. Every single image has so many things going on. Follow that speeder! <laughs> you went that way! This is a shortcut, I think. Anakin! How many times have I told you? Stay away from the before we had to do miniatures and stop motion, and now we can do things that were unthinkable before. I mean, you couldn't even think about having a chase through a city. In reality, to do it, we were in a speeder that was rocking about, and it actually made you feel rather sick after a while. It's like going on a fairground ride over and over again, where you're not allowed to go and have a hot dog, you know? That was a tough day. I was just being thrown around all day, trying to hold on and climbing all over the speeder. It's pretty nutty. You know I don't like it when you do that. Sorry, Master. I forgot you don't like flying. Well, you've lost it. If you'll excuse me. I hate it when he does that. They end up in the bowels of Coruscant, which we haven't seen before, where they crash and take off on foot. We go chasing through the streets. Uh, it was lots of fun to shoot, you know, and just knocking extras over and fell down a few times. You know, you get lots of cuts and bruises filming this. While Anakin is sent to protect Padme, uh, Obi-Wan goes off to see if he can solve the mystery of who's trying to kill her. Dangerous and disturbing this puzzle is. I go on a kind of Dick Tracy de detective spree. It's good. It's really good. Then uh, the plot deepens, you know. They are using a bounty hunter named Jango Fett to create a clone army. Wait. <laughs> It starts off at long range because once the once Obi gets near him with his lightsaber, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, I did lose my lightsaber, and that's something a Jedi should never do. But it was raining and it slipped. <laughs> Jango Fett is able to escape, and there's this wild chase through an asteroid field that is really spectacular. Blast! That's why I hate flying. <laughs> This time I get to fly a really cool spaceship, a little starfighter of my own, a bit like Luke Skywalker does in his X-Wing when he goes to find Yoda, which is brilliant. It looks fantastic, this thing. After a really series of complex events, Obi-Wan gets captured in Geonosis, and Padme is hell-bent on going and saving Obi-Wan. They land on Geonosis, and then they get trapped into this droid factory. They made me look so cool. <laughs> they put me on a conveyor belt with nothing. It was all blue around me. So I basically had to run and dodge things and just completely making stuff up. And then they painted stuff around me that looks like I'm like jumping through things and I look so brave. It was pretty exciting. I felt very action star. Finally, both of them are caught and they are sentenced to be executed. First, they're about to be killed by the monsters and then shot by some droids, and then the Jedi come to save them. In Phantom Menace, there were four or five Jedi. In this one, there are four or five hundred Jedi. 
We've never seen that before. There's always been a couple of Jedi fighting each other. Yeah, I think this is the first time that we really get to see all the Jedi in action, uh, which is an amazing sight. All Jedi don't fight exactly alike, so that each Jedi has his own particular style. A lot of the aggression that I hold in my character is exemplified in my fighting style. Jedis are always supposed to be very much in control of their emotions, and Anakin maybe loses control a little bit, and some of the darkness emerges. We've not seen Mace fight yet, and we know that he's second only to Yoda. Now I finally get to do it. I mean, it would be a shame for me to participate in a film like this and never get to use my lightsaber. Uh, so I'm, I'm amped. I was thinking about a style for him, but it's Sam Jackson style, you know, that he has so much style of his own, there's very little you have to do. Since I'm supposedly the second baddest person in the universe, I dispense people pretty quickly. Use as little energy as possible, but I'm pretty lethal. I've probably done more sword fights on celluloid than any actor in history, and this fight is greater than anything I've ever been involved in. It's not very fun not to have a lightsaber when everyone else gets a lightsaber. And I get these guns that look like little hair dryers. It was interesting to see her in combat mode. She's a real fighter. They wipe out a lot of the droids and everything, and they escape in these uh, gunships. And then you come out of the arena, and you realize that there's a bigger war going on, that all the Jedi have arrived with clones, and the clone army starts attacking the droid army. There's been a full-scale war since the formation of the Republic. Begun this clone war has. And this takes the idea of a, a battle scene and takes it to the level that we'd always sort of been aspiring to but never quite got there. We have clones and droids and flying termites and rockets taking off, flying gunships, ground troops, 200 Jedi. It's much, much more complex than anything we've ever attempted before. There's some really good action in this movie. Uh, people are getting wiped out, man. There's some wipeouts in this movie. A lot of people think episode two is just a sweet, intimate love story. Um, but actually, I think it's truly the most action-packed of all the films that we've done so far.